Hello, I'm Mary Director and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I want to show you a really neat way that you can um, accent your luggage for easy identification whether you're taking a cruise or you're going to be flying. Um, first I want to give you some general information. I do have a blog. It's um, www.createscards.com If you would like to purchase Stamping Up products from me my Stamping Up website is marydirector.stampingup.net. Thank you. I'll bring that back at the end of the video also. The other day in my blog, I showed some luggage that I had um, stenciled. And this is one of the um, carry-in ones that would fit under the front seat um, in front of you on the airplane. And the stencil is the stars I've used here. You could use any um, type of stamping up die as long as it's one of the big Z or original dies. It needs to be a thicker die because I used vinyl to um, cut out the um, image that I wanted. I had tried some of the stencils that are available in the stores and was really unhappy with all the fine lines, how careful you had to be that it didn't adhere to my um, my suitcase as well as I expected. The suitcase is fabric so it's textured and so that created a little bit of a problem. If I had had a hard surface suitcase then it would have adhered much easier. So I want to show you what I did. Um, Stamping Up used to sell vinyl and so this is a piece of Stamping Up vinyl that I had. I took a Big Shot Big Z die that was stars. It is a retired die that we had. But you could use the top note, you could use the butterflies, anything you wanted that gave you a um, nice image that you could paint inside. If you paint outside, you're going to have smeared edges around your design. So it's up to you the look that you want to um, have. Now, what I've done, I wanted to try it out on canvas without using it on my suitcase first. I didn't want to make a major mistake on the suitcase. So I went to one of the big box stores. They had little canvas bags, kind of cute. You could use them as a little girl's purse. Came in all different colors. So this is pretty much the same texture as my suitcase. So this was a great option and very inexpensive. Now this is a stencil that I've used numerous times, so you'll see there's paint on it. When you use it, and I'll show you as we go along, when you use it, you want to bring it straight up. And after you use it, you'll see that there's little pieces of um, paint on the back. You want to be sure that um, the paint is dry before you use the stencil again. The one thing that I did do was I used parchment paper and the um, parchment paper allows the stencil to be reused again and again but the um, stencil will not adhere to the parchment paper. This white piece you're seeing here, this is baking parchment. See how easy it just comes out? But this is sticky. So when I put it on here it's going to stick to my material without an issue. So I'm taking the stencil. Again, I cut this out with the Big Z die. I then peeled the white backing. I decide how I want it set on my uh, luggage. On this piece, I didn't want the big star. It was too big. It brought it down into here. So I just sponged in the top stars. The little purse is going to have enough um, area here that I can put all four. So I'm going to set it down, press around the edges so that see it sticks now. Then around each design I'm going to press, this again is dried white paint that you're seeing, and I'm going to press. That way you're not going to get paint up and underneath um, the design. Okay, and I need to get my paint just a minute. What I did is I took an antique tooth, toothpick holder, I'm sure many of you have seen this, 
Um, I usually use my multi-purpose glue in it and I just turn the uh, paint upside down so it's much easier to get the um, paint out. This is a Tulip brand matte finish but you could use any fabric paint. It comes in all different colors, all different um, there's textured paint, there's neon, there's glitter, totally up to you. You want to shake it well before using. And then I'm using the Stamping Up sponge. It comes three to a package. And you just, what I did was cut it in half just with your pair of scissors. Cuts very easy. Now, if I was doing a regular card project, I would cut each half into thirds. But because I was working with larger images, I cut this into a fourth. This is washable with soap and water. So, okay, and again, I'm going to press down here to make sure I've got good um, uh, adherence to the material below. I've sh shooken, shaken this. And I'm just going to use a paper plate to put the um, paint on. And you may need to add more paint to this. It just depends on how thick you put it on. I did try this also with a paintbrush and was very unhappy with the results. Okay, so I'm going to take my sponge, just dip the edge into the paint, and then I'm going to come back here and start blotting. And it's just a matter of pouncing or blotting up and down come back pick up some more paint now be very careful on your luggage that you've got extra space around here because if you were stamping like this and went over and there was material here you would get ink, uh, paint on that part of your luggage too and then you just continue to pounce it's going to take me a minute but I want to do the whole design so that you can see it from start to finish. If there's little black areas showing, uh, the material underneath here is black, just come back in and repounce. See um, the amount of coverage that you want. If you want it um, a thicker coverage, let it dry a little bit in between here. Now I've used, this is a four fluid ounce bottle of the um, fabric paint. I've done six pieces of luggage front and back, the full size luggage. I've done two um, smaller packs and then I've done a couple of these and I still have quite a bit of paint left. So one, one bottle will go a long ways. The other advantage to this, now if I didn't want just white, I could now switch this over to yellow, blue, green, whatever I wanted. Just make sure whatever color you choose that it's going to be a color that will stand out on your fabric below when you pull this off. Um, I had done, originally I was going to hand paint some leaves and grass um, type thing with one stroke painting. Um, and what I found with the colors I had chosen is that the greens blended right into um, our dark blue luggage so it didn't work out very successful so that's when I went on my quest to um, try to find something different that would work I'm really really pleased with these um, with these um, vinyl stencils I've um, used them numerous numerous times I do have five of these cut out I had enough vinyl left from a roll I had, but even if I'd only had one, um, one enough for one, it would work as long as you let it completely dry in between. Okay, I think that's good enough. Here's the finished. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this, I'm going to pull up the edge, I'm going to lift it straight up. And off. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of stick. I'm going to put it back on my parchment so that it can air dry. I can be, it can use it again. And there's the finished product. So again, it was just a big shot 
dye, one of the Big Z or Originals, um, some canvas, paper plate, fabric paint, and a Stampin' Sponge. Pounce, don't brush, and I also wouldn't use a paintbrush. Let it air dry for a number of hours, and it'll be ready to use. Now, if you're actually going to use um, a tote bag or something canvas like that that would be used over and over, it does tell you on the directions to pre-wash this um, and let it dry before painting on it. The luggage wasn't an issue. There was no way the luggage could be cleaned. So anyway, um, it was a great way. It was an inexpensive way for me to make my luggage um, stand out from the rest. I'm hoping that it'll make it very easy to identify at an airport, um, a ship pier, wherever we might be traveling. Um, hope, you great, hope you have great success with um, decorating your luggage too. And if you have any questions, please leave me um, a message either here at the end of the YouTube video or um, come to my blog and you can leave the message there. Again, it's createscards.com from my blog and marydirector.stampingup.net for my website. Thank you very much for watching my video today.